welcome again everyone to this Fusion 360 tutorial series. As we have mentioned in the last video, we're going to go over polygons. So as we go over to our create drop down, we'll go down to our polygon. The first one you're going to come to is a circumscribed polygon. So once we click that, we're going to go over to our origin and click our point. Now, as you click and drag, you can make it to whatever size you want. Also, you see this six that is highlighted in blue down below in the little box. That determines how many points you want on your polygon. So as you can see, we have, uh, starting from the right corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to the left. So let's say uh, you got your polygon here and you want to make it more points. You can do that by going to your box right here highlighting it and we can add 12 points if we wish to and as you can see that has now put 12 points on our polygon now we're gonna go back to our six point polygon and we're gonna kinda go over what the circumscribed polygon is as you can see once you click you get your polygon but we'll make a circle just to uh, Put an example. So this is what a circumscribed polygon is. So as you see, if you put a circle within the boundary of this polygon, uh, the midpoint of all of these edges here make contact with this circular spot here. If you go over to your next polygon, which is an inscribed polygon, it's a little bit different. As you can see, when you start making it, the circle is actually on the outside of the polygon and it's making contact with each point. Now that's kind of the difference between the two. So for an example we'll go here and so it kind of depends on what you're wanting. If you want these edges here to be uh, what you're basing your dimension off of, so if you go out this way that's how you um, would get your designated size. But if you wanted to dimension it through the points here, then that's how you would go about it. You can also go to our third option of a polygon, which is an edge polygon. This one's a little different to where you can click, make it to whatever size you want, and it will make it equal all the way around and then like on the others you can determine how many edges you want so we put eight we'll put 15 edges as you can see you'll now have 15 points click whenever you're done and you now have a very large polygon so those are the three main polygons that you can use for your 2d sketching um, hopefully this was helpful uh, our next video will be discussing uh, an ellipse or ellipses. All right, so hopefully you stay tuned for our next video. Hope to see you there, and uh, until next time.